Hello. So I wanted to start this video out by thanking all of you for the amazing support that you gave me and ultimately my family uh, for the passing of my grandmother. <clears throat> meant a lot to me, meant a lot to everyone. Um, gosh, there's almost a thousand comments. <laughs> um, and uh, tons of views, which is awesome, but it's really the, all about the comments. So it's impossible to read all of them, but they were all felt. And uh, thank you for that. Uh, as an update, uh, I would like to let you all know that <clears throat> things are kind of smoothing out here. The new normal is set in. Um, I can speak for my mom to a degree uh, where I know that her freedom or the freedom she's probably never had is finally here and I think it's gonna be a minute before she really realizes it but she has realized it in some form already because it's these little things she comes over to hang out with me and gets that jolt of anxiety like oh, I gotta get back to my place to take care of my grandmother. And she said, like, well, that's not there anymore. So it's like, oh, okay. Now she can sit and relax. Um, uh, she went for a ride with me yesterday. I took her with me as I was taking Skylar to um, her choir program that she does every Tuesday. So my mom had the time to go for a ride. I can show her where the choir group is because then my mom can now take her or pick her up or both if I need the help or if she just wants to do it. Uh, the, the choir group is at 90 minutes and it's near South Haven, Mississippi, right near the Walmart, and everything, you, all the stores you need. So my mom's like, wow, I can drop Skylar off, go shop for an hour and a half, come back, pick her up, take her home and have some serious freedom. Um, so that is, that is becoming a reality for her. And I don't quite think she really understands how much freedom is really going to come her way. And I, I hope over time that pressure release, that weight taken off will benefit her more and more and more positively as we go on. Uh, back to normal here with me and Skylar. I will say that first couple days of this week I was burnt out I don't and from work definitely I was averaging for the last god six weeks I was averaging about 15 meetings a week that's also including appointments outside of my office and everything you can imagine you know live interviews for my real Hernando podcast pre-interviews Meetings with my team, meetings with clients, appointments for doctors, and it got crazy for a while. So that burnt me out. But the weekend was a long weekend. You know, my grandmother passed on Saturday. As I'm recording this, it's it's Wednesday the thirtieth. So she passed on Saturday the twenty sixth, and uh, it was a long weekend, as you can imagine. You know, I had to kind of had to be the rock. You know, everyone is crying around me, but uh, I just kind of felt like I needed to be there for everyone else, and maybe that added some exhaustion my way, but I'll tell you what, when I come Monday, I realized that I needed a break, so I'm, I rescheduled a bunch of stuff this week, canceled some things, moved stuff around, and really, not only for this week, but moving forward... <clears throat> I'm going to try to be more careful on the amount of meetings I book because I would say 80% of the meetings that I've had over the last several weeks really weren't needed. There was no return on them. <laughs> I don't know. So you got to use your time wisely, and I'm going to start getting better at that. Uh, Scholar's okay. She's moved on as a 13-year-old would. Uh, but overall, I think it's, it's, and this is, this is kind of really what I want to talk about here, um, is dealing with loss. Um, 
and I saw a comment. I think someone commented on the thread for my last video, but was in a way a comment for my mom's video she just released because my mom doesn't allow comments. So sometimes I get comments about her video. And one, um, I won't mention names here, but this person was, I, I can't tell if they were being a smart ass or a troll or genuinely curious. It's hard to tell sometimes in text, but the person was like, please explain to me how when you lose a loved one, you can go from sad to happy to less stressed to uh, anxiety. Basically saying, like, I guess my mother in her video was giving her take on what her life is like now, what the passing of my grandmother was like the years prior to it. See where I'm going here? There's a lot of nuance that we all experience when it comes to losing a loved one. So, so I think what I'm get what that person was getting at is, you know, why can't you just why aren't you just sad? Why can you how can you be sad and happy? So, that's why I want to talk about dealing with loss and based off of my experience and this family's experience. So. No one likes seeing people die. You know, that's not fun. It wasn't awesome. You know, it's not good seeing a dead person in the bed in my mom's living room. That's a bummer. You know, and I'm proud of my daughter and her friend, AG. They're 13 and 15. It's the first time they see that. I wanted Skylar to have the opportunity. I left it up to her about going to see her great-grandmother. But I was very upfront with her. You know, like, you're going to be looking at a dead person. Straight up. Um, and it was, she wanted to. So it was, I think, probably a little terrifying for her and her friend. But we kind of, they kind of got used to it. And then we're all hanging out. My grandmother's on her bed. <laughs> you know, um, so, but no one likes that. No one wants to see that. That's just uncomfortable, right? No one wants a loved one to suffer. But there's there's other levels to this that everyone can relate to. This isn't just unique to my mother. And I'm going to speak for my mom because I'm confident in everything I'm about to say that I can't speak for. When... You are dealing with the loss of someone that has, and you and that person have a long toxic history paired with the fact that you're the caretaker of said person for decades. So imagine that. Caretaking is hard enough, being there for that person always and the doctor's appointments and the medication and the the feeding and cooking or and the, to the to the degree where God for a long time my mom was cleaning her mother if you know what I mean you know like caretaking can be exhausting okay so when that duty goes away it's a relief it's a relief you can still be sad that your loved one went away. But you're also like, oh. okay, wow, so much anxiety has just left because I don't have to do these 18 things every day for the next, that I've been doing for the last 20 years. So that is going to be a relief, 100%, natural weight lifted. Then you add a toxic element to it. And I'm speaking for my mom, but let's keep this general too. Painting a scenario. You're a caretaker of a person, but also you have a toxic, complicated relationship with that person, which really can just bring on a whole other set of issues. So not only is it hard taking care of this person as a caretaker, but when you have a complicated relationship, 
and you're you're caretaking because you love and you want to take care of this person, but man, sometimes it's a little harder to really want to help when on a daily basis you're facing toxicity. Um, in any way, it could be mental abuse, physical abuse, narcissism, wink, wink. You all know the story here. So, so the, the loss of a family member sucks, but wow, you've lost all this responsibility with the caretaking part. Relief. And now you're left with also, there's finally an end to that toxicity. You can still have your memories, you can still have your regrets. If hopefully you get closure with this person, I suggest you try to before they go, because then once they're gone, there is no other way to get that closure. But now that negativity that's always been in your face, now that's gone as well. That's a relief. That's going to bring some comfort to a person that doesn't have to deal with that toxicity anymore. So I'm just trying to paint a scenario, and I know all, you know, let's see, I got a thousand comments, 999 of you get this, I, I know you do, but there was that one person that didn't, so I speak to that person. You can be sad, relieved, and happy over a loved one's passing possible and I tried to give you the three reasons why so you know I can speak for myself directly knowing that I I'm sad my grandmother left but she was 99 years old the joke I've been saying for years is like she had a good run when she was 97 hey she had a good run 98 she had a good run 99 like man she's still running <laughs> She had a good run, but it's still going, even though, you know, she passed like a week after her birthday. Um, so that made it less emotional for me. Um, I, up until my mom and grandmother moved to where I'm at, Mississippi, gosh, for years, especially since I moved to Nashville in 05, so from October of 05 to October of 2021, I only saw my grandmother a handful of times of the year when I'd go to Maine. And even then, she had her own section of the house, like it was an addition to the house. And I'd say hi, and I'd sit with her here and there. But for the most part, I was in the main part of the house or going up seeing friends and um, didn't have a real close relationship with her through my adult life since, you know, from my mid-twenties up. Now, when I was a child, she helped raise me, okay? But, uh, as you all know, the, the, the story and the history of my mother and her mother, my grandmother, you know, I experienced some things, too, that weren't right. So, when I became an adult, and when I kind of moved on with my life, I moved on with my life. But my mom, even though there was toxicity and caretaking and all that stress, uh, she saw her mom every day. Every day. Whole life. You know, or at least, you know, since the early 2000s. So I can see why it's such a shock to her system that that person's gone. But then comes in the relief and everything I already explained. But again, back to me, um, I feel a sense of relief for my mom. That's the relief I'm feeling. I didn't have to take care of my grandmother. Um, I was, towards the end there, I was helping my mom more because my grandmother could not be left alone. So God forbid my mom could have 20 minutes to go to the post office in the bank. That was her her getaway. So I was going to grandma sit while uh, she would do that. But, I mean, 
compared to what my mom has had to do all these years is nothing. So I feel a sense of relief for my mom because now she is going to be able to start being her own person again, probably the first time ever. Because even when my grandmother didn't need caretaking, there was toxicity and negativity and just, you know, difficulty. So that all went away. You can't change the past. You're always going to have memories. But, whew, all right, time to move on. So that's the relief I feel from it. So I can be sad. I felt really sad for Skylar because every summer for her whole life, pretty much, She's been going to Maine, so she knows her great-grandmother. Um, so I was bummed out for her. Uh, but for the most part, I'm relieved too, and I'm happy. Because my grandma's not suffering anymore either. Let's put it back on her. She was in pain for years and years. Now she's not suffering anymore. But um, I'm happy that it's over with. We all knew this time was coming. We knew it was going to be stressful. I knew it was going to be stressful. I knew I was going to be dealing with a lot of really sad people um, and had to kind of be there to console everyone. I just knew it was inevitable. And now, now it's, it's finally happened. <laughs> so I wasn't looking forward to her dying. I was looking forward to getting on the other side of when she does pass. So now we can move on. So that's it. So to that person that commented, if you're watching this, I hope that helped answer the question that you had. Um, that there is nuance to this. It's not just cut and dry, like lost loved one, only sad. There's a mixture in there. and Everyone's life's different. And a lot of people deal with toxic family members. And I know... You out there watching understand this because it's complicated as life is. So right on. We're here fighting a storm. Something's coming in. Some hardcore rain's coming in. Hopefully I wanted to sneak this in before I possibly lose power. So as always, thank you again for all the commenting and the viewing and the way you support my channel, which supports me, which supports my mom too. So you all have an awesome night. Thank you.